Hey guys, my name is Ismael, and today we are going to be looking at yet another amazing add-on for the Blender community, and this time, one that gives you better control over your physics simulation. Uh, this one is called projectiles, and as you can see from the demo here, uh, we're controlling uh, different projectiles and uh, having them collide with uh, such precisions uh, that uh, we can control the particular point in 3D space where we want these objects to collide. Control that you don't really get with the built-in uh, Blender simulation tools. Forget about the projectiles and uh, control over your simulation, but setting up a physics simulation that lets you emit instances of rigid bodies is impossible to set up in the current state of Blender. You don't really have a way to emit rigid body particles and you can see these are fully rigid particles and if I add it, say something like a, a cube, let me add a Susan head here, let's give it a slight rotation, just put it in the way of the collision objects and I just give it a rigid body type passive, you should see that now these bodies also collide with that. So it's fully rigid bodies and you can increase uh, the emission rate. This is the functionality we really need built into Blender, but uh, since it hasn't been built in, uh, we have some amazing add-on to add that functionality for us. You can see now we have just increased the, uh, the emission rate and uh, now I think it's too high that uh, the objects are colliding with each other before they are being emitted. Uh, that's why you see them being pushed away like that. So I can reduce the emission rate to something smaller or I can come in here and uh, scale this down just a bit uh, so that uh, the they're not too large and I can see now that we are getting a better emission rate without the collision. So let me show you how to set this up and uh, where to get this add-on. The add-on is called projectile. You can either get it from GitHub or get it from Gumroad. So if you were getting it from GitHub, just go under code, download zip file and then install it like you would install any other add-on. So, so to access the add-on after installation, you just hit N and you find it under the physics tab here. So to start emitting or to start with working with the add-on, you can add a plane. I'm just going to use this as the surface uh, for the collision and I can give this a rigid body uh, type of passive so that we have something to collide on. And uh, if you want to use say a Suzanne head, when you select animation, you see that uh, under the physics tab, you see that uh, you have a new emitter button uh, that you can click on to create a new emitter with the selected mesh as the instance. So if I move this just out of the way and hit play, you can see that uh, everything is falling and uh, if I increase, if I select the emitter now and increase the number of particles emitting and hit execute. Every time you change a setting, you need to make sure that uh, you hit execute for those changes to take effect. Now you can see we are emitting at a rate of four instances in 50 frames and are starting at frame one. If you want to reduce this to something like uh, to execute, you can see and if you don't want to see uh, the instances before you start emitting, you can turn on hide instances, execute and hide at start. And you can see. Now you see this line, this is the projectile. So you can control that by changing uh, these values here. So I can change the velocity. Uh, if you don't want this velocity uh, radius, incline or as math is, you can just go to the a projectile setting and turn off these spherical coordinates so that you can see the usual velocity x, y, and z. So I'll just go to the top view so that I can play with the velocity. And I can see how it's changing here. So if I want to rotate it, I can just uh, play with the x, maybe get it around there and uh, move this around here. I want uh, so now if I play back, if I execute now, you can see we have a projectile like that. Now if I wanted, I can add another projectile. This time let's use, um, let's use a torus. Remember, the object you select and hit emitter will be used as the instance of your projectile. So, so now we have a new projectile. Now I just want to have a collision path for this. Uh, for these two emitters and uh, if you scroll down and turn on all draw projectiles all it will show you all the projectiles you have now i, ha I want to have uh this projectile have a be on a collision path so i'm going to change uh, the velocity y so you can see how easy this is so now if i execute this now it's a matter of 
adding increasing the number of you can imagine using this in uh, say a ketchup commercial where you have tomatoes colliding into each other and maybe you do a fluid simulation uh, to have a splash effect so let me just increase uh, the emission rate of this something like four execute execute this is really an intuitive add-on uh, that uh, I think can be really helpful to get this add-on in the description if you want to get it. Uh, but uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.